I just did 34 spays and neuters today. We were done before 12 o'clock. It was great. I uh, got lots of footage of that, which I'll be posting on my social media if you want to find out more. I was thinking every day I will post something like, I am posting all of my spays and neuters until we get Texas A&M to stop killing animals in their student training. Every veterinary student should graduate having performed at least 50 spays and neuters. Texas A&M students aren't getting that opportunity. To, instead, they're having to kill animals to practice a couple of surgeries, which is kind of nuts goats in particular. They do have a rotation they can take where they go into the Humane Society and they practice spays and neuters, but a lot of schools across the country, veterinary schools, don't have that. If any Texas A&M students out there you want to reach out and defend your school or share what you are doing, reach out to us, info at ourhonor.org. We'd love to hear more about your student training. I, I just pulled up what Texas A&M does. Oh my gosh, they have a lot of things. We got these records from public records requests of their school, and they kill in one protocol 240 dogs, 43 goats, 48 birds. And they, these are the number of animals that they request to kill. I don't know for sure if they do kill them, but why would you request this many to be killed if you weren't going to? These animals are not suffering from conditions necessitating medical euthanasia. Another lab, they have equine euthanasia for cadaver surgery training. In this protocol, up to 10 horses are killed each year to train veterinary residents. Some horses are donated for euthanasia due to chronic irreversible illnesses. Some are also sourced from internal protocols. Another one is properties of cardiac muscle teaching laboratory exercises for VTPP-423 and VTPP-910. Two turtles a year are chemically pithed, that means stabbed in the back of the head, and used in live demonstrations to demonstrate electrical and mechanical events of the turtle heart to veterinary students. Additional turtles are also killed to perform this demonstration to undergraduates. Turtles are purchased from a vendor this demonstration lacks any educational merit as it does not teach any clinical skills, nor is there any justifiable reason to perform this demonstration when there are many other ways to teach. The principles illustrated using teaching methods that do not involve the killing of healthy animals. I didn't have to do that in my veterinary school training, and I don't think I'm any less of a vet because I didn't take that lab. <laughs>